welcome back to my channel um, I just wanted to quickly make a video and talk to you guys and let you guys know that I'm going to be going back to school on February the 4th yay I'm so excited um I just wanted to tell you guys like why I decided to go back to school and all that good stuff so yeah let's just hop right into the video and if you haven't already like comment and if you're new then don't forget to subscribe and yeah people let's don't know because I didn't really tell anyone but I got laid off um last month well yeah last month or whatever on the 21st of December or whatnot from my job they uh sent me a text on a Saturday saying that they had to lay off more people than expected or whatnot. I was working through a temp service or whatnot, but that's what you get when you work through a temp service or whatnot. But um, I have been looking for a job and I just really couldn't find one. Like I had been applying like everywhere, literally everywhere. And I was calling, like checking on the status of my application. And like nowadays, it's literally hard to get a job if you don't have a degree, let alone if you don't have a high school diploma. I have a high school diploma, but most jobs nowadays, you literally have to have like a college, a college degree or whatnot because it's hard to get a job or whatnot, just like a random job. But that's one of the main reasons that um, I decided to go back to school because... But yeah so this is one of the main reasons that i want to go back to school so that i can be able to like work and do something that i enjoy doing or whatnot and um like i want to like better life for me and my girls or whatnot like i said i'm a single parent so like i want like a steady like stable income versus like just like working through all these temp jobs and I just felt like that this was something that like God was showing me like you know that it's time to go back to school it's time to like do something that you enjoy doing or whatever so that's my main reason for going back to school or whatever um the second reason is like it's something that I've been like like I said I've been wanting to do for a while but I was working like that job like even though it was through a temp service I was working full-time hours um, before they laid me off, um, I had worked 14 days straight or whatever, um, cause we were like getting ready, getting prepared for Christmas or whatnot. And I really feel like they use us to like help them like, um, get a lot of stuff done or whatnot. And then they just let us go right before Christmas. But I mean, it was what it was, um, which is why like, I want to go back to school. Like I just never had the time, like when I was working there, because, like I said, I was working 14 days straight or whatnot with no off day. And then I would have to come home, get off at 5 o'clock, come home, get my girls, like, feed my kids. And, like, you know, spend a little time with them before they go to bed. And then, like, the next day, like, I have to do it all over again. And they would have to, like, go to school. So, it was, like, really difficult for me to even, like, be able to see my girls or whatnot because I was working or whatnot. So... But, yeah, like, I actually got a job um, Tuesday or whatever this week. And um, it's, at, it's at this place called At Home. It's like a um, home decor store, decor store or whatnot. And, um, yeah, I uh, got the job there. So, they're actually going to work with me on, um, they're going to work with me, like, with my schedule, like, with going back to school or whatever so yes that's actually like really really cool or whatever so but, the school that i'm going to be attending is called eastern or whatever and they have a, a medical assistant program and they have a dental assistant program um uh, now when i was working or whatever at the job that i just got laid out from i was going to get into the dental assistant program but like i said i never had the time and so this time when i went i was going to do the dental assistant but i was like no i was like i really don't want to do dental no more because if you think about it like most dental assistant jobs are like really like you really can't find a job in the dental field because like most of the dental offices is like private um dental offices and they're really picky and like some of most of them have like their person that they want to work for them so i was like i might need to do the medical assistant because i can always i'm always guaranteed to get a job in the medical field 
So that's why I uh, chose to become a medical assistant or whatever. And the um, program that uh, the medical assistant is 10 months and then their dental assistant program is seven months or whatever. So yeah, but I'll probably like do the uh 10 months of the den of the medical assistant and then after i complete that and i get a job in that field like i might go back to do the dental assistant program being that it's only seven uh months or whatnot but the difference between the uh 10 month program and a two-year college is like going to the school that i'm going to be going to you don't have to um you take your basic classes like your prereqs or whatever you um uh, you just go uh straight on to like uh on hand like training or whatever and um all that good stuff like it skips that um prereq um thingy or whatever so yeah um me personally like um it's basically your choice on what you want to do or what not like i'm not trying to go to school to um for no two years or whatever but if you go to school for two years at a, a two-year college then you'll get your um associates or whatever but like me since i'm going through like a um 10-month program at a school like i'm only gonna be like certified or whatnot like i'll just get my certification or whatnot but most jobs or whatever like accept it like you don't have to have your um uh, associates or whatever and uh depending like where you are like um it might affect your pay or whatnot like just like having your uh certification or whatnot but some some places they give you like you know you might get the max or whatnot but me personally like i don't care like i just want to like be able to like get it and like i said do something that i really enjoy doing or whatever and the more experience you gain the more you'll get paid so yeah that's something to keep in mind but that's basically all i wanted to come on and tell you guys like you know like you're never it's never too late to go back to school or whatever depending on like your age or whatever like it's never too late my mom went back to school when she was i want to say 40 or whatever like she went to school twice she got her uh surgical tech license and then she got her um phlebotomy or whatnot so i mean it's never too late like you can go like it's best to go straight out of high school but for some of us for like um single moms or even like not even single moms but just a mom or whatnot like we can't do it so like it's never too late like you can go like on your own time or whatnot but now is like the perfect time for me to do it like this is something like i want to do like i've always wanted to work in the medical field and like this is just like a dream like i'm living my dream like i'm going back to school and i'm gonna push myself for my girls like even harder or whatnot to make sure i graduate and do what i gotta do but I wanted to quickly show you guys like the little stuff that I have. Um, I have orientation next week or whatnot. So they haven't told us like what supplies that we have to get or whatnot. And um, they're gonna supply us our books on the first day of school because we didn't have to pay for our books. Our books were included in our total price of schooling or whatnot. We have to pay for them, but like, not like how most schools do you have to like go and like you know get them and purchase them like they already like it's already included in our um school package or whatever um i think the total cost of my school is ten thousand seven hundred dollars or whatnot and those books that i'm gonna need like are included in that price or whatnot so they're gonna give them to us on the first day of school and um Plus, they're going to give us our uh, scrubs. We have to get fitted for scrubs because we are doing, like, even with the dental, like, you have to have scrubs or whatnot and a lab jacket. So, um, those are actually included in our price, too, um, in the 10000 or whatnot, our um, uniforms or whatnot. The only thing that's not included is our lab jackets. They say we have to pay $20 for those. But, yeah, they said that we'll get them, like, the first week of school or whatever. And I'll be sure to update you guys and let y'all know. 
But I'm going to show you guys what I got so far. And I got my shoes because they said we have to wear white, black, or gray tennis shoes or whatever. So I'm going to show you guys what I got real quick. And that's going to be all for this God. video. It's, of course, you will need pencils. Like, I know for sure I will need pencils. And I just picked these up from Staple. It's a 12-pack. And I am a fan of um, the 0 0.5 or whatever on my pens and on my pencils or whatnot. So, yeah, I picked these up from Staples. They're just a 12-pack of mechanical pencils. And then they actually had a sale on these pens or whatnot. And they are the, um, these pins right here. I know that's picking up. But I got a, a, um, a black one and then a, um, a blue one or whatever. And, uh, they were on sale. Like, you get, uh, buy one, get one half off. So, they were, like, $4.99. So, I brought one and then I got the other for, um, $2.50 or whatever. So, yeah. And these are, like, they actually had, like, these are new or whatever. And they actually had like a pen where you can test, like where you can write on some paper to see how they write or whatnot. And like I said, I'm a big fan of like the 0 0.5 pens or whatnot. Like those are must-haves for me. So I picked these up because I love the way they write or whatever. So yeah. No, I'm gonna need black and um black and uh blue pens or whatever. And then of course I got some highlighters or whatever. And um I could have got the one that had all yellow, but of course I'm extra and I want like all the different colors or whatever. So I picked these up and I got to go back and get me some Sharpies as well or whatnot. But the uh, next two things that I got is my planners or whatnot. Now this is the one that I'm probably going to be uh, taking to school or whatnot because this is the one that I originally wanted but I picked this up from Walmart for $2.50 uh, regular price is like $7 but they had them on sale and I was gonna buy this this is the funny thing like I was gonna buy this but I was like I thought it was like three something because it said three something and so I had the like scan app on my phone so I scanned it and it said seven dollars I said no I said I'm not gonna pay those seven dollars for this little thing but it's so neat and so freaking cute I'm so glad that I found it for um for 250 or whatever but it just has like all of the uh, months or whatever and it's so freaking cool and they have like so many things where you can like do like little notes for like each day or whatnot but it does have a calendar let me show y'all like where is the calendar for let me show y'all one okay so this is like uh, uh the calendar but they do have like the individual note pages for each month or whatever so like i already wrote in mine um on february the 4th that's the first day of school so i already wrote that in in there or whatever but two two fifty at walmart and then the next thing that i got was this big planner or whatever and i got this one from burlington's or whatever and it was uh originally priced was like fifteen dollars but only paid, uh, it had like a clearance sticker on there and it was $4.99. I don't know why because it's in perfect condition. But again, I love how neat this one is. And of course, pink is my favorite color. So it has the pink little writing. And that explains why I wanted that one because it's so pretty. It's pink and pretty. But yeah, it's just like, um, and the inside is pink and blue with white background or whatever but yeah i love that and this one right here is not new but it's just one of my like reusable ipsy bags and i'll show you guys a few of them that i'm going to be using as pencil bags but it's this one with makeup brushes on there i'm probably going to use this one because it's big or whatnot and all of the rest of them are small but this is something that i ordered on ipsy and they gave me like a big bag because i had like 15 items or whatnot but um these are some more like you guys have probably seen these from my videos but yeah like this is my favorite or whatever out of all of them besides my december one with the glitter but that's one that i carry around it's like a little everyday like pouch or whatever but yeah i'm gonna be switching it out using these as my pencil bags or whatever and then the last thing that i have are my shoes 
Now y'all, these are some bomb shoes and I got them for a really good deal. They were originally like $130. And guess how much I picked them up for? $39.99. Well, $39.97. <laughs> Like, I always, like, I'm a single parent, so I always like to catch deals or whatever. Like, I'm real cheap or whatnot. So, but this is what they look like, y'all. And all the other ones that I've seen, like, I just did not like them because my feet are small. And I have to have, like, certain shoes. And the girl was like, that if they're going to be, like, you're going to be, like, walking in them and stuff, like, you need to get some training shoes. And at first I didn't see these. Like, she was showing me, like, black ones. And I'm like, we can have black, gray, or white. But I prefer to have white shoes because, like I said, our scrubs are going to be navy blue or whatnot. And I just think that it looks better. And our lab jackets are going to be white. So I was like, these will look better. And they fit, like, they fit your feet like for the shape of your feet or whatever versus like getting because the other shoes that she showed me they were real bulky and like looked it big on my feet like i said i have a little feet i wear a size five to like a four or whatnot so but these feel perfect y'all and i love them like in the inside they're green and it just says training or whatever and it just has the nike sign and this green padding but they're really really comfy and i really really love them and yes um, I just hope that I don't get them dirty because they are white. That's why I wanted to get like gray or black. But like I said, black just to me don't look right. But it's your own preference. Like you can get either or. But anyways, that is all for this video. I just had to share my news with you guys. Like I'm so excited to be starting back in school. Like I said, this is a dream for me. Like this is something that I want to do because I really like forever. Like since I was a little girl, I always wanted to like work in the medical field. And I uh, was like, I did go to school before and get my CNA license, but I did not like it. I did not like working as a CNA. It was just to me, like I love taking care of like older people or whatever, but just like changing diapers and doing all that stuff. Like I just didn't like that. So but this is something i believe this is something that i really want to do because if i like i always said if i ever worked in the uh, medical field like i always either wanted to be like a nurse or a, um what is it called a physical therapy or whatever never like did it cross my mind to be a medical assistant because at the time i did not know what a medical assistant was but after i did my research and i seen what an actual medical medical assistant is then that's what drew me to like actually want to be a medical assistant so you guys wish me luck on my journey and yeah like to anyone that want to go back to school that um feel old you're not too old it's never too late or whatnot and yeah you can do it like you just have to push yourself and want to do it. So, yeah, and that is all for this video, you guys. And I will see you guys in my next video. And until next time, you guys, bye-bye.